At 24 years old, Gilbert Gilgip is the oldest player on the American University men's basketball team. Gilgip graduated from AU in 2017. He's enrolled in a master's program in marketing and is planning for a second master's degree next year. However, the most important lessons he's learned aren't necessarily what he's been taught in the classroom. Yildjip firsthand understands the importance of never taking anything in life for granted. The problem is I don't really know exactly what it is. Um, I just know that my heart was like bigger than it was supposed to be and um, not, I guess, pumping as aggressively as it should be. So the doctors were scared that it would fail, my heart would fail, so they didn't want me to compete. Um. In 2014, Yildjip was told the 13th game of his freshman season would be his last. After experiencing symptoms of severe dizziness and shortness of breath, he was diagnosed with cardiomyopathy, a condition where the blood can't pump properly because the heart is enlarged. He worried that at any moment his heart could fail. The fear was personal. Yildjip had lost his father to a heart attack when he was a teenager. For his remaining three and a half years at AU, Yildjip was sidelined. He helped his teammates in every way possible, except physically out on the court competing. He became essentially an assistant coach for us. So I think he learned a lot, you know, just watching and seeing and listening to sort of us. He was in our coaching conversations. You know, he just remained a strong voice in the locker room and just a positive voice. So for a kid to you know, have that happen to him and still just be thinking about the team and thinking about his teammates and everything and not just worrying about his own situation speaks a lot to what kind of kid he is, what kind of character he is. In the fall of 2017, Yildjip had multiple episodes with the same symptoms that put an end to his basketball career. Three trips to the emergency room later, he finally received the closure he never expected. Doctors there ran a battery of tests and everything came back negative. And they couldn't basically, they couldn't explain my symptoms. I met with their team of cardiologists there and they basically said, well, we don't think there's anything wrong with your heart. Doctors concluded all along he had been dealing with anxiety. Yildjip was then medically cleared to play basketball again. And at forward, a 6'7 senior from Kaduna, Nigeria, number 12, Yilrat Yilja. The NCAA and Patriot League approved a waiver request to allow Yilja to become the first student athlete in the history of the league to have a seven-year eligibility clock. There was no question where and how he would use these next two years. It was a very easy decision once I found out that I was going to be able to play again. Um, just the incredible support that I've gotten from like the athletic department, just everybody here, it's been great. I just felt like I owed it to the school to come back here and, uh, and give back to them in some capacity. And the coaching staff also have been very, very supportive and followed me step by step throughout my, my whole career here. They didn't just care about me as a basketball player, they cared about me as a person. It's good to have an older guy in the locker room. We've been young for the last uh, couple years. I also see him sort of not reverting back, but just uh, sort of being a, a kid again almost and having fun, you know, on the court, in the locker room with the guys, at training, you know, training table, wherever it may be. You can see that he's just uh, really enjoying, you know, the experience of being a player again. I give so much energy. Like, I give it my all every time I step on the court, mainly because I don't know if I'm going to make it to the next practice and be able to play again, like, you know, just as easily as my symptoms came up like a couple of years ago, it could come up again. So for me, I'm just like very grateful and just fortunate to be able to play the game. So I just try to make the most of every single second that I'm on the court. One reason I think why I stuck around it was because he believed in what we were doing, you know, what we're trying to build here. I or my staff didn't recruit him, but we arrived on campus together. I think he saw the vision and I give him credit for sticking around and staying here. So that's just another reason I'm so glad it worked out where he was able to play and put on a uniform that's at American because I know that's where he wants to be, it's who he wants to play for. 
-hmm. the guys look up to me as like a as, as an older guy as like a big brother so I just try to you know show them the way I was part of the last team that won the Patriot League championship so I saw those guys work every day so I come in with the same energy the same focus and attention to detail that those guys came with every single day in practice and I try to show these guys the way and in terms of like you know being the first guy to play like you know to have a seventh year I mean <laughs> Uh, I mean, it's, it's really cool and I'm, I'm grateful and fortunate to have that opportunity, but at the same time, it just means I'm very old, so. <laughs> Not only older, but also wiser. Another one of those lessons Yiljep learned. When life gives you a second chance, seize it.